congratulations. Uh, it's a good move for you. No, oh, no, I'm glad to be here. Obviously, oh, something different. Um, obviously, I was in, in the United States two weeks ago, and now I'm here, and I actually want to enjoy playing some basketball. So I look forward to you know what the next steps are. Can you tell us about the motivation and why you came back? I think I just didn't get the chance in uh, Washington. Obviously, I was told I was going to go into training camp. Got waived two days before, and kind of had a whole big discussion with my family and my management of you know what do you think is best for me. And you know I think this is the right move to come back to the NBL. And with the Olympics, Olympics coming up next year, I just want to prove that you know I should be in that squad. You think you're in? Uh, are you, you know, ready to go? You, you obviously you come over there, get pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm in good shape. Uh, probably the best I've been in a long time. Um, we we'll be training every day over there. You know, you're going to get one day a week off, and mostly those days they ask you to come in and work. So, you know, I'm ready prepared, and uh, you know, looking forward to these two games coming up. And how are you fitting into the system here? Is it foreign to you? Is it easy to pick up? Is it honestly, it's easy to pick up. You know, the four out uh, one in kind of system is what I prefer. Um, you know, I've ran it before in the past with a few other coaches, so everyone runs some sort of similar plays, so it's easy to pick up. I think business is business. Obviously, they made a decision. You got to keep it. You know, that's how what it is. End of the day. And now I just want to play some basketball and kind of enjoy, you know, doing it. So you know, have some fun. And I think this is the best, you know, opportunity for me to come back. Okay. How did Adelaide end up being the place to be? Um, you know, once I got waived, I kind of had a week-long discussion with my management, my family, and you know, a lot of other GMs around the league. You know, reached out to me. You know, GK and, and Nick were one of them, and I had a few others in Melbourne and uh, New Zealand as well. And you know, it's just cool to you know feel like you're wanted. Um, and yeah, I just took my time, wanted to make the right decision, and yeah, Adelaide just came on board. Obviously, we had to go through a bit of release stuff with the Kings, and you know, I'm here today, and I'm happy. So that's all that matters. I mean, they make me look like the villain. They make Adelaide look like the villain. Um, honestly, I'm just going to be the bigger man and just walk away from it because there's more to it than people think. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I don't know where the Kings are on the roster, but it sounds like it might have one that you already have uh, on the fixture. It sounds like you already might have circled that one. That uh, honestly, I don't think we're playing until January, so I'm not really worried about them right now. I'm actually worried about South East and, and Perth coming into Adelaide. And, you know, the, the guys had a good win. Against Illawarra, we just got to continue rolling that momentum. Reckon you play both games straight into it from, from this one? I hope so. Uh, I'm ready to go, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. You guys will have to see the tip off from, if I'm playing. So. Um, do you think it's the, something that might take a little bit of time before you can work your way up in the big minutes, given it's a new system? Or? Honestly, that's CJ's call. He's the coach. You know, I, I told him when I when I committed here that I'll do whatever it takes to help this team win and make that playoff push to you know make the top six. So. I'm just going to go with the flow and you know, I'm here to win. I've done it before, so I just want to continue that rolling. And how do you think you're doing with the other guards that are on the roster? I, mean, I think we've gelled pretty well. I've played with a few few of them before. Uh, I played with Maka, had a few qualifiers, so I kind of got that chemistry with him. I uh, played juniors with Isaac growing up, so I know you know how he rolls. And yeah, everyone else has just been cool. You know, you learn how to play with Trey. I played against him last season, so you, know, you get to know everyone's game. You played well against Phoenix in the past, 10 threes last year. January it was, not that long ago. Um, how many are we going to see on Thursday? Please? Honestly, we're just going to get what we get. Honestly, we're just going to go with the flow of the game and, you know, whatever happens, happens. And bigger picture, are you committed here for how long or is it a long beyond this season? I just committed for one year. Uh, that's what I'm really focused on is trying to get this team, you know, where I think they deserve to be, and that's in the top six. Um, and then we'll see what happens to them. You know, this might, this might become home. You know, they've, they've been greats. They've played here. Brett Maher, Daryl Pierce. I actually played with his son growing up. So it, it's a cool story. So we'll see what happens. I think so. I think I'm, I'm right there. I just need to prove myself a little bit more. And uh, we'll just see what happens. You know, we've got a couple uh, feeble windows coming up, and you know, I'll, I'll do my diligence to make sure I put my hand up always and represent the green and gold. And it's always an honour. So, actually, I, I want to go to the Olympics, and I think that's the biggest goal of mine.